Hi everyone, welcome to Practice Problem Stock 01. This one is just gonna be a series of quick questions to put your understanding of stock to the test. So here we go. First up, types of stock. Which of the following are differences between common and preferred stock? Take a moment, pause the video, see if you can identify the differences. Come on back and I'll walk through the solution. All right, welcome back. So starting with letter A, Common stock has priority to residual asset claims if the company liquidates. That is not true. Preferred stock will have priority to the residual assets of the company should it liquidate. B. Preferred stock has a fixed dividend payout. That is true. Preferred stock does have a, a usually stated as a percentage, um, fixed dividend annual payout that it is supposed to get. C. Preferred stock receives dividends only if common stock has received dividends. Again, we have the terms flip-flop here. That is not true because it is common stock only receives dividends if the preferred stock has received their dividends first. And then D, common stock is more likely to have voting rights. That actually is true. All right, so B and D were the right ones in this situation. Let's see what's next. Stock characteristics. Which of the following statements are true about stock? Take a moment, pause the video, see if you can identify them. Come on back when you're ready, and I'll walk through the solution. All right, welcome back. So here we go. Um, starting with A. Stock is priced based on its par value, which is set by the issuing company. That is not true. Stock is priced in the open market due to market forces of supply and demand and the evaluation of how your company has performed and is likely to perform in the future. The par value is simply something that is maintained from an accounting standpoint. It is not part of the valuation of the stock. How about B? Stock gives its purchasers ownership in the issuing company. That is exactly what stock is, and that is what makes stock different sent from, say, giving the company a loan. Stock entitles you to ownership. How about C? Once stock has been issued to investors, the issuing company cannot reacquire it. That is not true. The company can reacquire it, and that is when the stock becomes known as treasury stock. It has been repurchased by the company and is held in the company's treasury. How about D? Holders of a company stock are entitled by law to receive a dividend each period. That is not true. Now, you will have cumulative preferred stock, which does entitle those stockholders to get a dividend each period. However, it is not guaranteed that the company will actually pay in any given period. The company may let a couple of years rack up and then do one big payout to make up for all the misses, but that is only cumulative preferred stock. Non-cumulative preferred stock and common stock has absolutely no entitlement to a periodic dividend. So this one, the only one that was right was B. All right, last up, this one's not a multiple choice. This one requires you to think deep. Describe what it means for each share of stock to be, and there are four terms for you. So take a moment, pause the video, see if you remember what these four terms mean, when you're ready, come on back. I'll walk through the solution. All right, welcome back. I am gonna take these in the kind of the logical flow of a stock's life cycle. Um, and that means I'm gonna start with authorized. So what does it mean for a share of stock to be authorized? That simply means that it has been approved by the company to be issued. It doesn't mean it's been issued to investors. It doesn't mean it will be issued to investors. It simply means that that stock has been approved for issuance should the company decide to do so. All right, which of course then brings me to the next one, issued. Issued means that the stock has actually been sold to investors. Now, it does not necessarily mean that the investors still have it it simply means that it was sold to investors at some point. If investors still have it, then it's what's known as outstanding. Issued stock still held by investors. And if the investors don't have it anymore, that's when you're dealing with treasury stock. Issued stock repurchased from 
investors by the company. The only term that I didn't give you in this list was retired or canceled stock, and that is when the stock is actually permanently removed from distribution, and that is more of a rare circumstance relative to these others. All right, so that was it for your um, kind of stock mini quiz, we'll call it. Um, I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you join me for another video.